Good morning. We're awake, just. It's time for breakfast. So we're going to head through and I will show you what we get served for breakfast here in this very comfortable Airbnb. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I did. Me too. So that's it. We're going for breakfast and I'll show you. But the woman's in and out, so I don't want to film her, obviously. But yeah, peaceful. So this is breakfast in this nice setting. But look, you come through here and we got cover your boobs. <laughs> Cereals, fresh juice, fresh food. So good. And the breakfast is being cooked right now. This is like freaking first class hotel breakfast then. I haven't had something like this since, I don't know, since I used to go with my dad to Skegness. I'll let you know what the full English is like, see if it gets a thumbs up. But I'm going to have some cereal to kick things off. There's your breakfast. We are all set. Included with the price of the stay. Ridiculous. Breakfast is done. Just drinking this orange juice, I feel like a pig. I need to lose some weight. It's getting bad. But I don't know what the time is. Probably close to half ten, maybe. We've been in here maybe for an hour, I'm not sure. Probably not. But... Yeah, perfect. Same again tomorrow. I'm <laughs> waking up this morning and looking out onto this and just like, like looking out of this window. That was my view this morning. It was so nice. And then you can hear the birds singing and it's not cold. Like the, the sun is out somewhere. It's nice, it's fresh, but it's nice. That breakfast was ridiculously good. Just enough, I think. Like, when you go to an Airbnb, you don't expect that kind of service. Really, really happy. We just gotta get sorted now, and we're heading to Tembi for the day. And, yeah, don't know, we'll see what happens. There's a few things that I'd like to try and have a look at. Stuff that I seen a couple of years ago, or didn't see, but I seen online before we came. A couple of years ago, but we never actually got to see it. Two years ago, when I came with my dad. So hopefully we can today. Ow, I just stood on stones. <laughs> that hurt. But yeah, really good night's sleep. Enjoying myself. I feel really good this morning. I feel positive. Let's see how long that lasts. Like, I woke up in the night and my body was aching. I've got a bad, like, back and neck at the moment. Probably from sitting at the computer. 24 hours of pissing day lately. But this is a well-deserved, much-needed break. <sighs> so, yeah. I'm going to chill out after breakfast for, like, half an hour, an hour. Then start getting ready and then we'll head off. And I'll keep you posted as to what we do. But, yeah, welcome to the video. Part 2, breakfast was served. I don't know what these are called. Well, I do by now because they're on YouTube, but yeah, this is what it's about. We are, if you're only watching part two, we are in Carmarthen, or just down the road from Carmarthen, staying in an Airbnb. We just had breakfast after our first night's stay here. I do struggle with anxiety, but I don't know. I'm just making memories, and that's the moral of the story. Let's make some memories.
we're back at Saunders for I've got a mask on. Because you have to wear them if you want to go in shops. As you know. We are going back to Tembi, I think. We went there first, but it was so busy, there was no parking. So we've come here, do a bit shopping, and then we'll head back. Let's get some ice cream. This is where I really wanted to go. Over there. To St. Catherine's Island. I'd read about it online. You're not gonna catch me walking in there. No, lane. probably not. But we came we drove down here earlier and we couldn't park anywhere near it, so we drove to Saunders Foot where we went yesterday. Had an ice cream and a pasty. Then we just drove back here but the weather is terrible now. So we've just walked down the whole high street, which I didn't want to do earlier because I felt a bit sketchy. But Magda suggested let's go to Saunders Foot and then come back and see how you feel. That's what we did. We're here now. St. Catherine's Island. <laughs> but my girlfriend Magda does not want to go there, but I really do. I know, but this is a once in a life giant time opportunity. So, we walked over to St. Catherine's Island. That's Tembi, back there. It is really cold. My hands are freezing. That's Castle Hill up there. Might walk up those stairs after. We can't get onto St. Catherine's Island by the looks of it. The gate is closed, which is a real shame. Because I really wanted to go up there. I'm just walking through puddles of wet sand in my Jordans. But don't worry about that. What does it say? <laughs> it does say open. It's clearly not. No unauthorised persons behind that point. It doesn't say I can't go to that point. These steps look really dangerous. I don't know what it says. Oh, open soon. So, I half made it to St. Catherine's Island. It's still cool up here. I apologise if there's a bit of wind noise. But we're now going to head up those stairs over there to the bandstand and then up the hill. And then back to the car because it's cold. We've been shopping. Got a few bits. Nothing major. <laughs> Magda's tired. She's yawning. She needs a pee. Come on. Well, I made it to St. Catherine's Island. I couldn't conquer it, but I was here. The only cross was here. Let's head back. <laughs> She's thinking about food. That's what it is. It was a really nice morning this morning. Sun was out, but we, we knew rain was forecast. Oh well. There's rain on the lens. It's by from Tembi. Island it's kind of there. After much debate, we have decided. You have decided. Thank you very much. I have decided that we are going to attack these stairs, which I'm going to regret when we get to the top. Because I get super out of breath because I'm fat. 
old and unfit and bald. And bald. Balding. I'm already out of breath. I'm fucked already. <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh, you do. This was a bad idea. But there's the island. I'll walk back to the car yet. Yeah. She's left me. Look, she's gone. She ain't playing games. A bench. You got it. So look, apparently, you can normally get up that and up there. It's a nice view. We did it. Well. Now we're going up here. Up to there. <laughs> I am dead. Coast Guard house. I like it. We made it. To the castle on the hill, nothing to do with Ed Sheeran. Lifeboat's down there. Man, the lifeboat. I'm fucked. There's the ramp, log flume. You can tell I'm tired because I had to <laughs> switch my hat. Oh, she's angry with me. Gonna catch COVID. What's your problem? You. You've got a statue. Some guy. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Okay. Where is the car? Albert Prince Consort. There he is. It's a pretty cool view, apart from the weather. We are in Carmarthen. We've just driven around for like the last 20 minutes or so, trying to find somewhere to get some food. We've just found a Chinese, so we're going to walk around and order ourselves the Chinese and we've got to wait for it and that's pretty much it. Then we're going back to our accommodation to relax, eat our Chinese and have a peaceful evening ready for the long journey home tomorrow. So yeah, we have been busy today. It's been good? Mm -hmm. Apart from the rain. Apart from the rain. That was bad. We were absolutely soaked and freezing earlier. But we're, we're all good now. Magda's had a nap, which is essential, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> So yeah, speed it a bit. This is it, the final morning. We are waiting for breakfast. Breakfast is like 15 minutes away. We've not long got up about, well we woke up about half an hour ago. We made a cup of tea and we're just sitting here waiting. And then we've got to sort this place out quickly and get on our way. Another long journey. But it's been fun. I noticed yesterday that the camera wasn't recording at some stages. I was pressing record and it was coming up with a message on the camera. But, but because we were out, I couldn't really stop and mess with it. So I don't know what was happening. So the footage is a bit all over the place. And there's bits that didn't record, which is annoying. But yesterday, the first thing we did in the morning was went to Tembe. But we drove around and the car parks were busy. And I said to my girlfriend, I just don't feel like I can do it. Don't feel like I, I'm going to be able to do this today, because it was busy. Then we drove to Saundersfoot again. 
did those bits, had an ice cream, walked around a few shops, bought a few little bits, and then after that, well, it started raining really heavily <coughs> while we were there. But then we drove back to Tembe, and we actually parked in the town, and we walked, it ended up, which is usually what happens, like I feel a bit iffy, so we don't even attempt it. But then when we've built up that little bit of confidence, which we did at Saunders Foot, getting the ice cream, walking around a few shops, then we went back to Tembe and did everything, walked up and down the high street, went over to St Catherine's Island, which was closed, unfortunately, walked up the steep steps to Castle Hill, and then walked back up the high street again, and back to the car. Then last night we ended up driving around Carmarthen for like 20 minutes, and then we managed to find a Chinese takeaway, ordered that, came back, ate it, relaxed, went to sleep. But it's been a really nice, refreshing couple of days. My body is knackered. I haven't walked as much as I have in the last two days for a long time. My, like, my legs hurt this morning. So it's good. It's nice pain. Knowing that I'd actually done some exercise. So yeah, breakfast. It's a beautiful day. I'll quickly show you around, I think, before we go, just for my memory. Because I like these Airbnb things, man. Going to do it again. 100%. But the next mission is to get my girlfriend to the Czech Republic because she hasn't been home to see her mum for over a year, I think, or almost a year, which is really not not good for her. So that's the next mission. Come on, Boris. Open up the borders, man. Give the Czech Republic a green light and, and let's do this. So this is it. The end of my videos, the end of this, whatever it's been, mini-series where the video footage didn't really work. I don't know what's been up with the camera. Maybe I need to upgrade, but I don't do this often, especially while we're in these lockdown things. And Yeah, it's not been easy for anybody. And I was just thinking, like, maybe people watch this video or my videos, my recent ones, and think... Like, because, because I manage to do stuff, and because sometimes I make it look easy, like, just because I carry it well, doesn't mean that it isn't heavy. Like, the burden of anxiety and the thoughts that I experience every time we, we set foot into a new town or into a new experience or whatever it is. Like, it's never easy. And I guess we're all at different stages of recovery, if that's what you want to call it. Different stages of life. But I'm enjoying making memories. And this has been a really, really nice couple of days. Much needed. I've so needed to do this. And yeah, we had some terrible weather yesterday, but it's been beautiful. This place has been amazing. The hosts have been incredible. If anybody wants to get away... For a few days in Wales, like I might put a link to the a link in the description to this place, so you can have a look at the pictures and stuff. But it it has been truly amazing. The hosts have been ridiculously good, like the food, the hospitality. It should be in a category of its own. This a place like this, because it's not just a a homestay. It's not just a place that you come and like look after yourself. Like these people have been brilliant. So yeah. The Chinese was amazing. Oriental Garden in Carmarthen. And the tyre shop. Let's not forget that one-stop tyre shop in Tamworth. Who sorted me a tyre out like that on Monday morning. So yeah. We're going to head back. We're not sure which way to go. We're thinking either motorway, boring. It's longer but it's quicker because it's motorway. Or do we go the other way? Which is up through Wales and then across back to the Midlands. So we're probably going to do that. It's slightly longer, but it's like 40 miles less, which is crazy, but it means I'm probably going to be stuck in traffic. But hopefully it'll be a bit more scenic. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure I'll do some kind of anxiety video soon. I know I haven't talked much about it in this one, but it's been a real refreshing experience and I've enjoyed every damn minute of it. And if you can, if you're able, 
I recommend it, even if it's like not driving too far from home, even if it's just a 10 minute journey away, just somewhere different, new scenery, just taking in new things and like being in the countryside or whatever, or near the beach if you can, or just anything, just get away. It really fills you with confidence, it gives you a boost, and yeah, I'm ready to go home and crack on with work and make some money so I can do this again. Thank you again. Take care of yourselves, and I hope you enjoyed this trip. Hopefully we do it again sometime. We just thought we'd stop and have a look. Hello. Hey, is there coming to see you here? Hello. Hello, guys. Slowly, slowly. Hello. Run away. Hello. <laughs> I think one of them's called Bert, and that's what they're shouting. Bert. Maybe the farmer's called Bert. And they're alerting him. Well, that was fun. We just stopped on our journey. We've been going for we've been going for an hour, and the the views. I'm so glad we decided to come this way. It has been so nice. Just constant. Shut up a minute. Do you know? Sheep, cows, goats, alpacas. The hills and the scenery has been so nice, compared to the motorway. And the sun is blazing. It's beautiful. Oh, there's a lizard here, apparently. Where? Don't move. I don't, I want, don't want it to disappear. It's somewhere there. Is it going to hurt us? No. A lizard? Yeah. I was scared. No. Here. On the crocodile. Yeah. We're not sure where we are, but we stopped off Land Landidrod, something like that. I'm not sure. But we just thought we'd stop off. We're about 10 minutes away from the sheep that we've just seen. And now we're just having a walk up and down this high street. Because I could really do with a nice drink. And there's a deli over there. Organic wine. Probably not going to drink that. But yeah. Chandidrod Wells or something. We'll try and find out. We're still in Chandidrod well, whatever it's called, we've just found the sign there. <laughs> There's a sign there that says Rock Park and Spa. So we're just, I'm hoping it's not a spa shop. It shouldn't be. But we don't know what's down here, we're just having a little walk. Before we head on our way. <sighs> we found this. From up there somewhere, down here, onto this wooden bridge, and down there, it's nice down here, peaceful. I don't think there's anything else over there. Maybe that's the bowls place. It says there's a pavilion bowls, indoor bowls thing here. The wells of Chlandindrod, Drindod. flowing well. It's iron based and even today people use the water regularly. Wow. The Shelly Bait water was recommended for anemia 
and general debility at the turn of the last century, to quote an 1897 guidebook, a useful tonic, drink immediately at the spring. Let's get a drink then. The Four Kings, seats in locally sourced hardwood. I mean, I should be on one of those. I am one of the Four Kings. You are not. You are a queen. Come on, you hold the camera. Feels good. Looks like you sit on a toilet. <laughs> No, that would be right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even pointing the camera at me, but it's going over there somewhere. You're cross eyed. Can't put that button. You're offensive. Jesus. That's the this is it. How peaceful is that? Do not. Do not. I knew you were thinking it. Pushing me in then. Are we even recording? Yeah. He's going down to sample the water. This could be fun. She could fall. What do you expect? The problem I've got is that I've crouched down like this and I don't think my knees are going to allow me to get back up. <laughs> Jesus. I was going to help you then. I don't need your help. You're welcome. Nice. This is a part of the world that we would never have known existed if we didn't come back the way that we are. It's crazy, isn't it, when you think of it? Like, we would not have known that this exists. Not that it's that exciting. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's about the spring. Do you want a drink? Um, no, thank you. Okay. Nice though. It's a little. It's weird that this has been built like this round. It's like castle wall here. In the turret. And there's the spring water. Nice. We're gonna head back to the car and continue on our journey. We're not sure. Like, we've got two and a half hours left, I think, on the satin of it saying. It's a bit windy here. Yeah, two and a half hours. We don't know how much of Wales we've got left. Like, when do we cross back over to England? We'll notice, because there'll be less sheep, and the ground will be... Yeah, more rubbish, probably, at the side of the road. And it'll be flatter. Like Wales, the roads so far have been amazing. This hill is not amazing. If you were to go upstairs, with the hill, I'm going to give you a fiver. Oh, God. Quickly, no. no. Come on, babe. Get out. I'll see you at the top. Well, I'll see you back in the car if we stop again. If he's going to make it. <laughs> yeah, good point. And maybe an A&E. So we're home, I didn't get any more footage and I have completely eliminated the batteries in the camera so I'm using my phone, apologies if the sound quality is crap. We've got the dog back, we're home, it's 8pm now Wednesday so it's been a good, it's been a good three days. I started filming Monday morning, it's now Wednesday evening, we did loads, my legs and my body is aching, it's the most exercise I've had in months and months but I'm so glad that we went and did that and hopefully we get plenty more opportunities to do things like that I'm not sure what was up with the camera 
I was missing loads of footage when I watched it back. I've just flicked through some of the footage that we got. And yeah, there's bits missing and the sound is terrible on some of the parts. So I've had to lose those. And it might not make sense if you're trying to follow our journey for the three days or two days, three days. But yeah, really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And yeah, hit subscribe for more videos like this. And me talking randomly about anxiety and issues and stuff. If you've got any issues, drop them in the comments. Maybe people in the comments will try and help you or whatever. There's a nice bunch of people that seem to watch my videos always out to help each other. So yeah, again, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Who knows what's around the corner? Be positive.